well hello there and welcome back to my channel or of course welcome to my channel if you're new if you are new then hello lovely to meet you my name is Alex and if you are new here make sure you subscribe and if you are already subscribed please make sure that notification bell switched on just so you know tried of every single time that I upload now for today's video we have an exciting one because we have a brand new collection by Revolution that come out maybe three days ago or so. Obviously I had to buy a lot of the collection and test it out for you guys. So the collection that I'm talking about is their brand new like Christmas um, glamour range. I have all these and also one of the eyeshadow palettes to test. They did come out with quite a few products and um, they come out with two eyeshadow palettes, a mascara, a couple of highlighters, a couple, I think three lipsticks and a couple of glosses. So I bought one of each section of your makeup um, and we are here to test them all. So if you'd like to see my thoughts and opinions on the new Revolution Glamour range then please keep watching. So I'm just going to run you through um, the items that I picked up. So firstly what I just want to say about this whole collection before I even get into that is that the packaging on this collection is a bit of me. It is absolutely stunning. I love it. Just the whole glitz and glam and like the like diamante i just absolutely love it it's definitely me and it's 100 percent the reason that i had to pick up this collection is just because the packaging is just so beautiful and i love it so firstly i picked up one of the highlighters this is called the precious glamour illuminator and i picked mine up in the shade million dollars they do also have another one i'm just quickly looking at it um which is called she's lavish but this one looked like it was going to be um, the better one for my skin tone look at this please oh my god it is just beautiful I absolutely love it I know some people probably think this is kind of tacky and not their thing but it's my thing and I absolutely love it not to mention the packaging on the highlighter is pink as well like it's got all pink around the edges and then the front is just all of these like crystal like diamantes I just absolutely love it um and then the inside looks like this so this is the million dollars highlighter it looks to be more of a golden tone and then it also has a mirror inside this actually retails for eight pounds which is quite expensive for revolution but i feel like you're paying for more of the packaging than the products because i know revolution could do a good highlighter i have tons of them um, but it's definitely the packaging you're paying for on this collection i think obviously the main things in this collection are the eyeshadow palettes i picked up the silver one they do also have a gold one this one is called crystal Lux. yeah mega star crystal Lux, and the other one is called diamond edition these both retail for 12 pounds which is quite expensive um it's a little bit more expensive than what they used to be the other christmas palettes before were always 10 pounds this packaging is like a mirror so you can hello you can literally see my camera <laughs> <laughs> this is a mirror um but i love the crystal you can't even you can't even see it but there you go you might be able to see it there but you can see the, the pattern on it it's, it's just very christmasy i absolutely love it and then the inside of the silver palette looks like this um, and then it has a mirror in here as well these are definitely the similar layout to the uh was it the precious stone collection was that last year i honestly i cannot remember i can't even remember yesterday i did look at the other version the diamond edition but it just kind of looked all a bit samey to me like all the shades just look like they're really light and nude whereas this one you definitely get more depth in this palette especially on this side and you have some beautiful shimmers and stuff in here so obviously you're gonna have to swatch this and have a play with that um this is cruelty free and vegan and the highlighter is also cruelty free and vegan and then the next thing is the mascara in this collection so they did such a cute thing with this packaging there's actually a butterfly on the product and also the lipsticks as well so this is called the butterfly lash mascara i believe this is eight pounds as well if i remember correctly oh no it's eight pound 99 it's actually more expensive than i thought it was and the packaging is just so cute like Look at all the like butterflies and stuff. I absolutely love it. And then this is what the mascara looks like. It's all in this rose gold packaging, which obviously I absolutely love. And then it has this butterfly on here. And this is actually a ring. You can actually take the butterfly off and wear it. But yeah, this is just a regular mascara. I don't think this is anything fancy. Um, 
I don't think this is any i don't think this is any of their other mascaras and just like in different packaging but you basically can just pull the ring off and you have this cute little butterfly ring and it's actually adjustable as well which is good i'm gonna keep it on the packaging like i'm not taking it off like it just looks so pretty like that and then the other two products in this collection are lip related you get lipsticks and you get lip glosses so obviously i picked up one of the lipsticks this is the butterfly lipstick in the shade regal this is what the lipstick packaging looks like with the rose gold and then you get the adjustable ring in here as well and then the lipstick has a butterfly on it like how stunning is that like they're just absolutely beautiful i love this uh, packaging if i haven't said that all enough already and the lipsticks also retail for eight pounds so again they're super expensive and the last thing in this collection are the lip glosses the lid of this is just so beautiful look how just lush that looks i love it so so much i picked mine up in the shade luxuriant i believe that is um, and these retail for £6.99 and I, if I remember rightly, I believe their lip glosses are about £4 or £5. So again, you're paying for the packaging and not the lip gloss, if that makes sense. And this shade is more of like a, I don't know, like bronzy, shimmery gloss, I guess. This would look beautiful over like a nude lipstick and stuff, so I picked that up. Um, those are all the products in this collection obviously barring the other shades and stuff oh no it's not those are all the products in the collection that i've got they have also got another eyeshadow palette um which has the same packaging as the highlighter if i just show you um a picture this is what the other eyeshadow palette looks like I'm not going to lie, it's like 90% shimmer and I wouldn't reach for it because it is 90% shimmer, otherwise I would have picked it up. That's £8 as well, um, so I didn't really want to waste my money because I just wouldn't use it. That's everything that I've got. I'm now going to move on to actually testing the products. So let's start with the highlighter. Obviously, we have to start with the highlighter. It's not kickbacky or anything, which is quite surprising. Normally, with cheaper highlighters and stuff, they are quite powerful, but let's, let's give this a go. wow look at that highlighter as i said revolution never disappoint with their highlighters and i'm going to be honest this is actually a very very good quality even though it is more expensive on the eight pound side it's not like powdery or chalky or anything it looks so beautiful on the skin um obviously this is more of like a blinding highlighter so obviously would definitely suit best with like fair to light skin tones um but i like they've obviously got another shade for more medium to deep skin tones um, and this is very, very beautiful. I mean, as I, they just never disappoint, do they? So I absolutely love that. And I love the quality of the product as well. It's really beautiful. Do I need another highlighter? Absolutely not. Do I love it just for the packaging? Of course. Um, so now, because most of the products are obviously eye and lip related, we're going to move on to the eyeshadow next. So I obviously, I picked up the Crystal Luxe palette which looks like this um they obviously have uh two smaller pan rows at the top and the bottom and then in the middle there is bigger pans um i like that there's a lot of depth to this palette um there's a lot you could do with it obviously these palettes are more neutral so you can do really nice everyday looks with these as well and then these like beautiful shimmers in here look absolutely stunning so let's get into the swatches these are the top and bottom row i'm going to save the middle one for last but there are three glitters in this palette already i don't know if any of the middle ones are glitters i don't know why i didn't realize but obviously they're textured a little bit different i thought they were foils but no they glitter i'm not usually a fan of glittering palettes but it kind of makes sense because this is a christmas palette and obviously christmas is all about the glitter um but the four there are foils in this palette as well which are absolutely stunning the black's really nice and pigmented and i like all the tones in here it's obviously a very nice neutral christmasy palette and i love it and this is the middle row that first shade that first gorgeous goldy shade is called angel 
and it was clearly meant to be that I was meant to get this palette because there's a shade in it called Angel and all of you guys are my angels and so are my patrons um, so it was meant to be <laughs> um, there is another gold uh, there is another glitter in here which is like obviously that gold in the middle which means there are five glitters in total in this palette or oh, is that five? am I not counting that right? one second no, I'm being stupid. The dumb blonde that I am. There's four glitters in here, not five. So there are four glitter pans in this palette. So if you love your glitter, obviously you're going to love this palette. I just won't use them. Like maybe at Christmas and obviously this is a Christmas palette. So it makes sense why there's so much glitter pans in there. But just like normal day to day, obviously I'm not going to use glitter. But it doesn't matter. It is a Christmas palette after all. So it's beautiful. We're now going to dive into the eye look. For my eye base, I'm going to take the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base, obviously just because this is a Revolution video, might as well use the products, and the front of this is actually a mirror as well, so I'm just going to use the front of it to apply my base. I need a crease shade, I'm going to go in with the shade shade and i'm going to put that in my crease area this is quite a dark palette if you wanted a more like light nude then you i think you definitely prefer the other one but i don't know it just kind of looked a bit too samey to me um so i definitely wanted to pick this one up I'm going to take the shade Coffee to blend that out. There isn't actually much light transitioning shades in here. It's literally maybe just like this one. And then they have super, super light shades in here. And then I'm going back in with this brush just to blend out the edges a little bit more. Um... Obviously, they're quite a, there's quite a big shade difference between those two, so they don't blend into each other super, super well, because obviously there's just, just quite a big difference. And I wish there was like another light transition just to help blend out these shades. I'll get back to blending that out uh, later on because it still needs a little bit of work, but I just want to get all of the colours down uh, before I finish off blending and then I'm just gonna grab a more pointed brush and we need a darker shade so I'm gonna take the shade Carabelle from the middle of the palette I don't know if this will be dark enough yet we shall see there's really not that much kickback with these shades which I'm very surprised about because normally um, revolution shadows do have kickback and these don't really which is quite impressive And I'm going to grab a combination of both of those uh, coffee and base shades just because I don't want it to be too dark. But I want enough to blend these out. Then I'm going to go in with coffee by itself. So next we're obviously going to need to take a shade for the middle of my lid and obviously I'm going to take this gorgeous, beautiful, sexy shade called Angel because look at that. I have to. It is unbelievably gorgeous and I need it all over my lid right now. We're just going to put this all over the lid. We're not going to do anything too technical. We don't tend to do that over on this channel. Just something easy that you guys can follow if you need to or want to, should I even say. Why would you want to create any of my looks? I do not know. Um, but this is kind of similar to like a look that I would do for like a night out or... Oh, okay. Um, that just crumbled everywhere. So try not to pick it up in like big chunks because it will just crumble apart but when you get the pigment on there it's beautiful it's, it's just absolutely beautiful like this palette is actually really good quality I'm just going to use my finger and then look how much more pigment comes off on my finger like 
Oh my god, it's very squishy and frilly. And this is what I say, the foil fit formula is the best thing for like shimmer shades like this. I think I'm gonna take a mixture of these two dark shades. So this one is called Caramel and this one is called Chianti, I wanna say. No idea what that is. Don't know if I'm just being thick. Um, but I'm just taking a combination of both of those and putting that on my lower lash line. And then lastly, for my inner corners and brow bone, I'm going to take this shade here, which is called Glow. Um, so I think this is what they intended this shade to be for, and it's beautiful. Okay, this is the eye look complete and I must say this palette is actually really really nice quality it's probably better than a lot of their other normal palettes like it's this palette is not too kickbacky or chalky or powdery the mattes just seem really really nice quality and they're pigmented I mean the foils in it are absolutely stunning I mean that shade I used all on my lid is beautiful my inner corner and brow bone highlight that's a normal shimmer formula and it's super super blinding so I'm actually really impressed with the quality of this palette I mean yes it is 12 pounds but I mean the quality kind of speaks for itself um it is just a really really nice neutral eyeshadow palette let's move on to the mascara so this is what the packaging looks like i just absolutely love the tube that it comes in and this says flutter your lashes with this mega volume butterfly mascara with just one coat your lashes will look maximized and separated with more coats you will have the ultimate volume and fanned out lashes glamorize your eyes so let's just give this a go so this is what the wand looks like um it's pretty a pretty standard one to be honest there isn't you know anything too different about the mascara so these are what my lashes are looking like this mascara is definitely more of a dry mascara um it did quite take what sorry uh let's rewind um it did take quite a few coats to build up to this point i think i must have spent about five minutes on my mascara um it's quite good for dry for bottom lashes because you don't smudge your mascara underneath but it's quite um yeah it's quite dry uh it's a nice everyday mascara i want to say it's not clumpy by any means so if you don't like clumpy mascaras you're gonna like this one it is separating i must agree with that it does separate your lashes really nicely it does bring a little bit of a little it does bring a little bit of volume to your lashes this is by no means my favorite mascara um i've definitely tried way better mascaras in my lifetime um would i repurchase it mm, probably not to be honest um i'll probably use it up until it's finished and then be done with it because it's just not my favorite type of mascara that i use on like quite a regular basis so yeah it's it's a nice mascara definitely more on the natural looking um side so not my favorite but if though if that's your type of thing then you're going to absolutely love this mascara it's definitely one for you to check out right i've zoomed out because we are on to the last steps which are the lip products so first thing i've got to try is the lipstick i got mine in the shade regal which it doesn't actually tell you on the lipstick and it is definitely um mariah carey vibes you know when she did her mac collection obviously she had butterflies on her lipstick let's give this a go i'm sure this is just like a standard rib, uh, lipstick and i'm gonna like it so let's apply it so this is the shade regal and this is definitely more on the pink side of lipstick i believe they must have had like a brownie nude and a red obviously red is perfect for christmas um but this is a beautiful like mm, raspberry toned lipstick it is absolutely stunning and i do really like the color of it i'd say this is more of a satiny lipstick um it is absolutely beautiful i will reach for it when obviously i want a more pinky lip i am obviously more of a nude person but um it is a beautiful shade i must say the last product in this video we are left to test is one of the lip glosses now this retails for six pounds 99 and this is the swatch so it's quite a clear gloss um, but it has like bronzy shimmer in it so let's give it a go
they smell really really good i can't work out what that smell is though oh it smells really really nice so looking up close you can't really see much of the shimmer particles over the top of this lipstick but when you rub your lips together you can feel like the gritty shimmer so it's not a smooth like shimmery metallic -y lip gloss you can definitely feel them not just normally it's only when you rub your lips together and when do you rub your lips together um so yeah it does look super super pretty um it might just be the feel of the the shimmer that might put you off of this but that again that is only when you rub your lips together other than that it is a really really beautiful lips uh, lip gloss do i think you need it um it kind of just depends on whether you like the shade that it's in i do really like it it's just not something that i know that i'm gonna reach for on a regular basis basis um but it is super pretty so guys that is absolutely everything tested from the new revolution glamour collection just to kind of round up my thoughts and opinions on this so everything in this collection is super pretty um i think they mainly focused on obviously the packaging for this collection i do however think the eyeshadow palette is super super good quality um the mattes are really easy and like soft to blend they are beautiful the foils in in the palette are stunning even the normal shimmers are really nice i do like the eyeshadow palette that's really really lovely the highlighter is a bit more on the expensive side um but i can kind of tell that it's good better quality than a lot of their other um highlighters the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter are probably my favorite things in this collection i don't need the mascara um it's just a nice everyday one it's not my favorite so i'm probably not going to reach for that much reach for it that much the lipstick and the gloss i mean I, d I don't need them but they are stunning i just don't necessarily need them in my personal collection it's just down to your personal preference of whether you feel like you need these products in your collection it's a very pretty christmassy range and i really really like it so please let me know down below your thoughts and opinions on this collection so guys that is it for the by the way i have a butterfly on my t-shirt i purposely wore it for this video but obviously you cannot actually see the butterfly because it's down here anyway that was not well planned um if you enjoyed this video please let me know by smashing the thumbs up button of course if you haven't already please subscribe down below and i will see you in my next video bye